The FBI and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency say China has been targeting commercial telecommunications infrastructure in what they describe as a broad and significant cyber espionage campaign. The joint announcement came three days before President Biden's meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping in Peru. The FBI and CISA say the People's Republic of China targeted multiple unnamed telecommunications companies and stole customer call records, private communications of individuals who work in government or politics, and also obtained information that was subject to U.S. law enforcement requests pursuant to court orders. In the announcement, they said they expect to discover the extent of the network breach is even larger as the investigation continues. During their meeting, the White House says President Biden will emphasize maintaining military-to-military -military communications at all times and the importance of responsibly managing the world's most consequential relationship. Straight Arrow News spoke with Congressman Dusty Johnson, who sits on the House Committee on the CCP, about cyber espionage and how President Biden should address it with Xi. What should his message be? Clearly, every single day China is looking to undermine our country, and cybersecurity attacks are a huge part of that. The president has got to be clear with Xi Jinping that we do not seek a hot or cold war with China, but acts of aggression cannot be ignored. Uh, I would like President Biden to uh, display some strength. One thing we know about Donald Trump is that he will certainly display strength. Display strength. Um, this, as you alluded to, is a pattern of behavior. How do you have diplomatic uh, relations with a, a country that does this on a regular basis, perhaps even maybe even daily? I do know the, the tendency is to say they're bad people. We want to quit talking to them. That makes the world a whole lot more dangerous. Those are the sort of uh, petty uh, fits uh, and, and tantrums that China will throw. Uh, we do something they don't like, so they quit picking up the red phone uh, that link our two militaries. That would be, uh, we, engagement keeps the world safer. Engagement gives you a mechanism to be able to tell China uh, when their behavior is totally unacceptable. And so, listen, it, it is important we have lines of communication open, but we need to make it very clear with China that we're not going to be bully around, bullied around, period. And then finally, this per particular attack uh, targeted personal information, even call logs. Why should an everyday American care if somebody in China has your call logs? China, the Chinese Communist Party, uh, they are experts at using data, piled upon data, piled upon data, to put together some really exquisite weapons that we don't even fully understand the capabilities of, but we know that no enterprise in the history of human, in, the, in the history of humankind has ever been able to use data as a weapon like the CCP has. And so, listen, I don't know what they're all doing. Doing it, I know they clearly find some value with it. If they're going to spend tremendous resources in constantly uh, probing our defenses to get in and steal that information.